right. Today I'm going to show you the brand new Madame Glam collection. This is the family and friends, or friends and family, I get it the wrong way around. It is beautiful browns and caramels, rich creams. There's lots and lots of cute names that are quoted from friends. Oh, and I absolutely love these. They've got me thinking all sorts of gorgeous thoughts about caramel lattes. So this is Smelly Cat. I'm literally going to quickly swatch these colours for you. And then this is I'm Fine. Look at that caramel tone. I'm going to run through them. I'm going to quickly swatch them and then we're going to do a design, okay? So this is, we were on a break. <laughs> that famous quote. This is gorgeous. I'm all about the browns and caramels. I'm loving them. Next is Naked Guy. Oh my God, I remember that episode. It's like these quotes are bringing back like flashbacks to me. <laughs> gorgeous. Hi, I'm Chandler. That's really, it's like chocolate. Oh, I kind of want to lick it. Don't lick it though, they're not for human consumption. Pivot. It's a beautiful nude. Nice warm tone. Gorgeous. How are you doing? <laughs> I can't help it. I'm sorry. This is gorgeous. It's like a nudie grey. Food coma, that's what I'm about to be in when my pizza is delivered. I'm on a diet, you know. I do like half a day on and the rest of the day eating what I want. <laughs> Oops, I burned it. Mm -hmm. That's what this is called. It's really beautiful, rich, red, chocolatey, reddy colour. Burgundy, gorgeous. Tastes like glam. You know it. Look at that. Gorge. Smelly cat. Smelly cat, smelly cat. So we're going to swatch them for you quickly. I'll just, I've sped it up. I just want you to see the coverage with one coat, two coats, and then top coat. And then we will get into today's design, which is stunning. So that's one coat of smelly cat. Second coat going on. Each coat requires a 30 second cure in an LED lamp and it's 60 second if it's UV. There we are, two coats done. In with the top coat. This is Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. And you are done. Let's swatch, I'm fine. Gorgeous. Does this not make you think of like toffee, caramel toffee, Werther's Originals? Mm. Sorry if you can hear the dog snoring. That's one coat. In with the second. So gorgeous. I'm also showing you a new product uh, in this video, which is not yet launched on my website. It's a little bit of a sneaky preview. In with the top coat, and that's that done. Next, we were on a break. Look at the richness of this color. <gasps> oh yes, thank you very much. I shall take that all day long. Okay, one coat, into the lamp, back out, ready for the second coat. Second coat goes on. Look at that coverage, absolutely flawless. Back in the lamp, and then we're out for a top coat. If you want to purchase anything from Madame Glam, I've got a 30% discount code. I don't make any money from that code, but do use it, because it saves you a big whack of money. Naked guy. Lovely. Love a bit of naked guy. <laughs> Don't say that in public. Look at that. In with the second coat. Nice and easy. 30 second cure. Ooh, mama. Look at it. Nice bit of top coat. Bosh. Have it. <laughs> What's next? Hi, I'm Chandler. Hi, I'm Chandler. Sounds weird saying it with a British accent, doesn't it? Just doesn't really sound cool. The British accent is so uncool. <gasps> Look at that, it's so rich. It does, you do, I do want to lick it, but I'm not going to, because I understand that it's not edible. It is vegan though. 
and nine free. It's Hema free. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Oh, look at it. In with the top coat. Lovely. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Next. Pivot. First coat going on. Are you guys ready for winter nails now? I'm still, I'm in with the cosy caramels, the cosy nails. Oh yes, thank you very much. That's beautiful. Second coat going on. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. Cure that for 30 seconds and then we are going to top coat that baby. Woo. I don't know why I get so excited by swatches, but I really love swatches. Yes. Yes. How are you doing? See what I mean? It's like a grey nude, but it's not as grey as grey. It's It's got a hint. I just, I don't know what it is in there, but I feel like it's a hint of nude in there. Can you see it? Do you know what I mean? It's just not a flat grey, is it? It's got a warmth about it. I could be completely barking up the wrong tree with how I'm describing it, but you know what I mean. Look at it. Beautiful. Top coat. Lovely jubbly. Done. Okay, food coma. Mm -mm. Can't wait to be in a food coma in a minute. I'm excited for my pizza. Is anyone else trying to diet at the moment? I feel like I'm always on a diet because I go on a diet, then I eat crap. <laughs> First coat done. Let's get the second coat on. I was doing really well with a healthy lifestyle choice. And then I got ill. Oh, look at that. Into the lamp and then top coat. Yeah, I got poorly and that just threw it all. So I just started eating rubbish because I was too tired. Yes. Oops, I burned it. This is beautiful. Now I worked a bit thinner with this because it was very, very, very deep burgundy. Gorgeous though, look at it. Mm -mm. Just quickly even that out. That's first coat into the lamp. In with the second coat. Look at that. And then we're going to go in with top coat. Oh no, that is the second coat, sorry. In with the second coat now. I thought that was the second coat. <laughs> That's the second coat, wow. Holy moly, the coverage. Now we're going in with top coat. There we are. Ooh, yes, thank you very much. Tastes like glam, let's give that a swatch then, shall we? I really like these colors. I've never been one, right, for browns or brownie nudes, but for some reason, this collection, I think it's seeing them all together it's like sparked my creativity. And I was chatting to one of my nail friends and I was like, all I can think about is like caramel lattes and coffees and chocolate and like warm winter drinks. And it just brought out that creativity. And I instantly, the minute I opened the box, I was like, I need to film, I need to film. I love it when a collection does that. Right, so we are gonna do one full nail of food coma, which I won't film for you. And then on top of that, we're going to use these three. Naked Guy, Tastes Like Glam, and Hi, I'm Chandler. And we're going to do a marble nail. Well, I'm also going to use the Madame Glam Gold Gel Paint for some detailing work. And the Blooming Gel to make that marble really kind of merge. And I'm going to use the application, the gel application brush. So... This is how I'm doing my marbles at the moment. I always change my mind and do whatever. But I just use my palette and um, kind of spread the colours out a bit on there. So I've already done the full nail of food coma. I didn't think you needed to see that again because you've just seen the swatch. Okay, and I'm just going to take my dotting tool and it focused on my hand, which was annoying, but I'm just swirling up and down, keeping it really simple 
So then I'm applying the blooming gel to the cured nail. So this has had two layers of food coma, both cured for 30 seconds. Then I'm going in with blooming gel. It doesn't need to be too thick because it is a thick gel. So don't like laz loads of it on because it will just go all lumpy. And then I'm going to scoop some of that marble and then lay the brush flat and let it kind of fall off and fall into the gel and give it more of a wiggle and that gives it more shape. And I'm just going to add little bits and keep building that up. And slowly but surely also the blend will diffuse out because of the blooming gel, so it softens the edges. And I really, really love the effect of this. Like it's really, really nice. Look at that. It just falls off the brush, glides onto the nail and then softens out as it goes. I'm just moving it around. You've got loads of freedom. It's not going anywhere, it's not curing, so you've got the freedom to work with it. Be creative. And just go with the flow, look. And it will kind of, it, like I said, it will slowly spread out. You can see at the top, the, the harsh brown line is now diffusing slightly. It's really pretty, I love this marble. Just gonna add a little bit at the top there just to kind of break it up. There we are. And then once I'm happy with that, it's going in the lamp and I will do a 60 second cure because there's a lot of gel on there. This is the gold. I could just dive into that. I mean, that's just beautiful. Just pop some on my palette, scoop it off of the dotting tool. And then we'll get started, just give it a clean off. And I'm gonna use my detailer brush, the, well, it is the detailer, I think. Huh? And I'm just adding it here and there. It's got super like uh, fine mica pieces in there, which is the metallic. So it's not just, it's not a gold colored gel. It's, it's got gold pieces in it, like super thin gold pieces in there that are absolutely beautiful. And I'll just continue that through the nail and then give it a 60 second cure in my lamp. <clears throat> While that's curing, I'll get the next nail ready. That's having a two layers of Naked Guy. And then we're gonna go in with some base coat on here. And the reason I'm going in with base coat is just to start evening out the surface of the nail because there's quite a lot, um, quite a lot of lumps and bumps and stuff. But we'll let that even out. I'll turn the nail upside down and that'll also help it even out a little bit and then cure it. And then I'm going to go in with the velvet matte top coat. Now, initially, I did think I wanted this nail matte, but then I decided later on to put it as glossy because I just couldn't, I couldn't be without the gold shimmering through. But once I put some bling on it later on, oh, it just looks amazing. So, yeah, we'll just leave that. We'll put it as a matte one for now. And I'll show you what it looks like matte, just so you've got a point of reference if you choose to do something like this. So that's it matte. It does look nice. I just wanted the gold, though wanted the blinginess. Okay, so in with, oops, I burned it, and we're gonna do a full nail of that. And then I'm going over the top with gold flakes. This is an, a no wipe top coat with gold flakes in it. So obviously you didn't need to see me apply the color because you've just seen me swatch it. But this beautiful top coat with the gold flakes is really beautiful. And that'll get a 30 second cure. Gorgeous. That's that nail done. And then I'll just, oh, I don't need to top coat it, do I? <laughs> and then taste like glam. I'm going to do a full nail of that. And then this beautiful glitter is called reindeer food. And this is going to be released 
as part of the Christmas box that's coming up, which I haven't even shown you yet. I'm so excited. You will know more middle of November. It's a gorgeous glitter. I've mixed it myself. It's got super fine, fine and medium in there. And it's a champagne gold and it's absolutely gorgeous to work with. Super sparkly, but it's a metallic, not a holographic. I wanted that metallic gold feel. And the reason I called it reindeer food is because every year, Oliver and I, since he was little, well, we've all sat round together and made reindeer food with glitter in it. So there we go. Look how sparkly it is. We've partially cured the base coat. So I've done a 10 second flash cure on the base coat on the nail. And now I'm going to press that glitter into it. And because it's got that super fine dust within it, it really sticks beautifully. They don't, there's no big chunky parts that are going to kind of stick up and get in the way. So it's really, really easy to work with. Or you could mix it in with like a base coat gel and just apply it like, like that, just paint it on. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to do a glitter swoosh by pressing the, gel, the glitter into the gel. As I said, the, there's going to be an actual glitter collection released um, as part of the Christmas box, but also it will be available on the website. I can't wait to show you everything that's going to be in the box. It's going to be phenomenal. And we've been working on it for months. And we are very, 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 very excited. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I will finish the cure as well under the lamp. But I'm going to tidy it up first. So I'll clean off my brush like so. And then I'll just, any little bits that may have dusted around, I'll just move them. It's really simple. Just hook them off. You can also sharpen up the lines of your glitter swoosh like that. And then give it a good cure. And don't worry when, you, when you're doing things like this. Like um, once you've cured it. You may get the odd piece of glitter that moves when you top coat, but it's not the end of the world. D don't panic. You can just move them. If they've moved one way, they can move back the other way. So when I was top coating, there was like a bit of glitter there and I was like, oh God, get it off. Scoop it off. Be done with it. Off it goes. The best thing to do when you're top coating is to float the top coat over the glitter. Or you can sprinkle the glitter directly onto uncured wet gel and then cure it. So it's entirely up to you. There's plenty of different ways to do it. And if there's any little odd bits that have just moved, just take your brush like I'm doing here and tuck them back into place. It's really, really easy. It's such a gorgeous color, this glitter. I feel like we're gonna be obnoxiously Christmassy this year, we're just gonna go for it. Then I'm going to top coat with a gloss top coat and I'm going in quite thick, but I will scoop it off. I'm just letting it settle in any nooks and crannies and then scoop the excess off, put it back in. We'll give that a 30 second cure and then I'm actually going to buff the surface of the nail. And the reason I do that is because where I've got the glitter in the center, obviously the balance of the nail is slight, ever so slightly off. You wouldn't really notice it, but I do. So I'm just going to buff it, level it all out and then re top coat. And trust me, if you've ever done a nail, <clears throat> not just with glitter, with anything, and you feel like your top coat isn't as perfectly perfect as you want it to be, maybe there's a tiny speck of dust that's made a little lump or a little bit of hair that's made a little lump on the nail, buff it and then clean it off, re-top coat, and it will be spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. I know a lot of nail techs that do it anyway for no reason. They top coat, they buff, they top coat again. And it's literally just for, for perfection because they want it absolutely flawless. So look at that. Oh, I love that glitter. I'm in love. How beautiful is that? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, all right. So in with the bling, because it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that bling. We're using the autumn mix. Mine's running a bit low. I'm using the golden shimmer 1400 pack and I'm using the rose gold 1400 pack. All available on my website. These are the nails so far. Let's bling these bad boys up because they need it. I'm going to be using Madame Glam's Builder Gel for this. Only because I really didn't know what I wanted to do. So I quite often use Bling Bond, which is available on the website. But I, I, I didn't have a plan at all. So I was like, if I use the Builder Gel, I can shuffle them about then. Move them, change them, and they're not going to set in place until I cure it in my lamp. 
So this mix that I'm using is the Autumn Shimmer Mix. It's been incredibly, incredibly popular. It's a mixture of golds, greens, lilac, uh, not lilacs. Uh, I, can't, I don't even know my colors. <laughs> golds, greens, like a deep purple, not a lilac, uh, clear. And there's this beautiful, these beautiful hearts in there that have all those colors inside them, like all of them magically inside them. Look at that. One more. Pop it in. There you go. I'm using my Alina pickup tool as well. Right, on to the next nail. I'm just walking about. Sorry if it sounds different, but I'm in the kitchen now. <laughs> um, Again, I'm going in with the Builder Gel. I had an idea of kind of the shape I wanted. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to put where, but I'm gonna start off with one of the shapes, uh, the rhombus, the gold rhombus from the Autumn Shimmer Mix. This is available in like a standard size or double size, and it's available in bags or it can be separated in a stacker for you. Then I'm using some of the rose gold crystals from the rose gold mix pack. It's a 1400 mix pack. Beautiful. And another one there. Then I'm using another of the shapes from the Autumn Mix. This is the Crystal Clear Raindrop. And then some of the Golden Shimmer 1400 pack. So I'm mixing them all up because I just, I love them all. I want different elements in there. There we are. And then we work our way down the nail. So golden shimmer. Just keep moving it all, make sure it's not running away. Then a rose gold. And then a gold from the uh, autumn mix. And once everything's in place and I'm happy with it, I shall cure it. While that's in there, I'm going to apply the gloss top coat to the marble nail and I just I love it the marble came to life the minute it was uh, top coated so I'm glad I made that decision it's really pretty isn't it I do like that I love those colors so much and here's the finished set I really really hope you've liked this video check out everything that's linked in the description box below and yeah, I will see you in my next video. So until then, tally bye.